Well, hello and welcome back. It's another Al's Geek Lab. Today, I'm going to be reviewing one of my all-time favourite games. Yes, it's Leisure Suit Larry. So here it is. This is the game that I'm talking about. Leisure Suit Larry in the land of the lounge lizards. And that thing right there, that's a blow-up doll. When I played this, uh, it was around 1990. Um, so that would have made me probably between the age of 8 or 10. And um, so this game was pretty formative for me. And uh, it was a lot of fun. My, uh, my father's in town today. He's come all the way from the UK over to see me in New Zealand. And uh, I thought I'd show him the game and see if it had jogged his memory from way back in the day. And uh, what ensues is, uh, it cracks me up. So have a look at this. Okay. Leisure Suit Larry in the Land of the Lounge Lizards contains some elements of plot which may not be considered appropriate for some children. But what about other children? Just some children, not all children. Okay. Right, you have to press enter, I think, to start. Let's have a try. Hey, how old are you? Well, you can just lie. I'll say eight. This can... Oh, please find an adult and come back later. Oh, it's chucked me out. Goodness sake. I mean, I was just joking. I wasn't really eight. <laughs> I mean, come on. So what do I type now? I have to type... Um... No, I'm not going to get this. Is it not bringing the hey, Mary's Mary, back? No. No, I wouldn't remember the dose. <laughs> Here we go. And we're back in. That'll do. Don't need that. Don't need that. How old are you? 63. Will that do? Am I too old? Here's five simple questions. Here we go. The terms working girl are a girl of negotiable virtue. That'll do. B. Correct. The Mile High Club is open to those who have performed aerial acrobatics inside a place. Yes. Indeed, D. Correct. Richard Nixon was a comedian. Yes. D, actually. He was a president. Black Jack is an ace and face card used by a policeman. <laughs> right, I think I'll take A. Okay, very good. So far, so good. And now, for the final question. Will I get in or will I not? Correct, the Mongo. Now, slip into your leisure suit and prepare to enter the land of lounge lizards with Larry. Now I'm going to return to my father's experience of Leisure Suit Larry which continues to be um, a laugh a minute uh, later on in the video but I'll just do a quick review to begin with. Uh, so Leisure Suit Larry came out in 1987, it was written by Al Lowe of Sierra Online and you play the character, lovable character, Larry Laffer. He's a virgin in his 40s living with his mum. Al Lowe made an immediately likeable, if hapless, character in Larry. The double entendre filled dialogue is a real laugh um, throughout the, the game uh, and, and, and really sometimes it makes you actually laugh out loud. The story goes that Larry decides that it's time to look for some love. So he procures a leisure suit of all outfits and heads off to the fictional city of Lost Wages, which at times bears a resemblance to Las Vegas. The original Leisure Suit Larry franchise started with this game and the last episode, Love for Sale, was the sixth game released in 1996. So it's not too bad, almost a decade of Larry games, the original ones at least, and there were follow-ups by other companies other than Sierra and Al Lowe uh, later on, but there was, for after almost a decade, uh, this was one of Sierra's best-selling titles. The original game here sold more than 300,000 units and apparently a significant number of the game's players were female. In the end, almost all of the controversy stirred. The Software Publishers Association awarded it Best Fantasy Role-Playing or Adventure Game of 1987. So for all of those 300,000 copies, uh, I dare say there was at least 300,000 more which were pirated and it certainly made its way onto the computer that my dad bought from his friend uh, back in 1990. It was a monochrome display XT and I do recall very well it being on the hard drive when we got it and, uh, and I'm pretty sure there was no legitimate installation of Larry at that point in time. 
Despite it being marketed as an adult game, and it definitely has sexual themes, Larry was tongue-in-cheek for most of the gameplay. Whenever something naughty happens, a big black censored image comes up over the top of what could be considered lewd, in as much as those low-res 8-bit pixel characters uh, could portray anyway. The puzzles in the game aren't too hard. For a 9-year-old, I did manage to complete it, probably after about a year though. But looking back on it as an adult, the puzzles uh, weren't too difficult to dissuade you from the game. Later games in the franchise, particularly episodes 3 and 6 as far as I remember, were much larger and harder. Pardon the pun, please. For non-retro gaming fans, Leisure Suit Larry and the Land of Lounge Lizards is going to appear a bit primitive, but don't let this dissuade you. It's a fantastic game. Personally, I love the graphics. They're very detailed and colourful for the time, and some of the close-up artwork is really great. It's also a great time capsule. Things like the decor off the inside of the casino just reek of the 1980s. As you'll see from my father's further evaluation slash struggles later in this video, like all of the original Sierra games, you use the Sierra Adventure Game Interface or AGI. AGI was used from the mid 80s to the late 80s and featured other Sierra games such as King's Quest, Space Quest, Police Quest and so forth. You enter commands to make actions, for example, look at walls, read graffiti, take rows and so on. Like any good review, I have to talk about the downsides. Now, the downsides to this game are few, but I feel that at least for this original version, it is worthwhile pointing out a few annoying things. Sound, particularly, is limited. It's limited to the PC speaker, and there isn't much in the way of music, as was the way of those original Sierra games. The sound the Air 4 mainly just has effects, and even those were pretty sparse. Commands themselves, they can be quite elusive, and sometimes they make the game harder just because you don't know what to type. There are many ways to die in the game, and this was kind of a common theme throughout the uh, Sierra games. From just crossing the road to moving into the next street, which uh, could be a dark alley, you just didn't know, and you could get mugged in the dark alley, uh, to having to unprotected sex with a prostitute, the many ways you can die are frustrating. So, as Allo says, save early, save often. The questions at the start of the game served a dual purpose. One, introducing the humour of the game, but mainly to stop kids from playing it. This was somewhat frustrating uh, and it was also removed from the later Larry games. But a, a good tip to note is that you can skip over those uh, questions at any time by pressing Alt X. Um, a final gripe I would have is in order to complete the game, you need to have money to buy things. If you go bankrupt, it's game over. So you start out with $94, it's insufficient to get all the things for the babes that you'll meet. In order to get more money, you have to try your luck at a casino. It was mainly a frustrating act of saving your game just after you win money and restoring back to that if you lost a bit, so you could just keep on accumulating. So it's a bit pointless really. Leisure Suit Larry 5 came out in 1991 and used the new SCI point and click interface, which did away with commands entirely removing the difficulty. Also in 1991, a reboot of the original game came out in a 256 colour VGA version. It was the same game, pretty much exactly, but for some reason it just wasn't as much fun. I mean, check out Fawn, the girl from the disco here, and you tell me which one is hotter, EGA Fawn or VGA Fawn? In 2013, Allo worked on a Kickstarter project called Leisure Suit Larry Reloaded, which redid the game again also adding new scenes and puzzles, complete with voice actors. It was fun, but still didn't have that appeal. Perhaps it was because I was a fully grown man, or perhaps it didn't have the same retro feel that I love. For many reasons, Leisure Suit Larry in the Land of the Lounge Lizards will have a special place in my heart, so probably I'm a bit biased. But if you haven't had the chance to play it, download a copy today and get on with it. You will not regret it. Will it be? Beer! Let's have a beer! You flip over three bucks, you put down the beer and slam the bag. Oh, I suddenly feel a little woozy. Stand up. Open door. Back this way. Ah, 
I've scored nothing. I haven't scored nothing. Do 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 do. Pick key. Lift key. There's no key there. Well, there's something on the table. Oh, have a look at the table then. Pick up rose. Okay. One point. Hey. I've had enough of this shite. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's it for the review of Leisure Suit Larry 1 in the land of the lounge lizards. I hope you've enjoyed the review. I'll be back sometime real soon. But until then, thanks very much for watching. If you do like the stuff that I'm doing, please like the video, put some comments on. And of course, if you can, it'd be great if you could subscribe to my channel. Until next time, have a great day and I'll see you soon.